after three days of pure rain, it's time to get out of our hotel and explore some muddy roads. Cherry is ready. She is super clean. Please take a note. So today we're getting dirty again. And I'm uh, teaming up with Toxic Cafetera guys. And the trail starts pretty much after this tunnel. We are at 1,400 meters and it's hot and sunny and quite humid and we're going up to 2,400 meters and without too much introduction we're getting straight into the mud mud lots of mud way I'm sliding de mi color si sí, mira 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 la the coastal edge which is the mud mud over the edge oh yeah 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 we can do it woohoo tiny little waterfall so cute it's just all going to be mud I guess from now on so let's call this episode Let's get dirty. And beautiful views, enjoy while we can. And this is a regular bus which transports people back and forth between these villages. How crazy is that? Whenever there is a possibility, supposedly she will let us pass. Come on, bus. Are at the Pine Forest altitude already and it is nowhere near as hot here it's not really sunny but it's not really cold 
about the either. So right now the weather is quite pleasant and then we'll see a little scooter pass by without helmets. Two kids on the back. Typical Colombia. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. And here. Bad but not too bad. <laughs> See how the guys are gonna do it. They don't want to go too close to the edge, which I totally understand. And here we have a little bit of mud again. Ooh. Sliding, but not too bad. From what I understand, the technique of passing the mud is to go at low speed, first gear, but very constant speed. I'm not a big fan of this part. Alright. I don't know how the bus does it. Although, Maybe it's even easier for him. I don't know. I don't know, you did ask for it, didn't you? You wanted adventures, you wanted mud. I mean, you knew you were signing up for mud, so... No big surprise here. Actually, this is not nearly as bad as it could have been, from what I've heard and seen. Although, we don't know what's waiting for us, ahead of us. Uh-oh, this is very slippery. important part, don't use the brakes. So beautiful, oh my god. Amazing. Really, really, really beautiful. Sometimes you have to take a break, breathe, and appreciate the beautiful surroundings before you face another patch of mud. Oh god, you're in a very wrong place, you know? <laughs> in a very wrong place. But cows don't care about us motorcycles. They just do what cows do. Wherever cows want to do it. This is like, I don't know, a cave with a waterfall. So cool. Wow. Completely unexpected and really beautiful. Very, very beautiful road. I imagine that somebody lives in this house and wakes up with this view every single day. For the guys, the uphills are more difficult of course because last power of the motorcycle 
and more weight on top of it. For me the uphills are much easier. See how they're gonna do this one. Slightly more technical with the rocks and the uphills. All of you with big adventure bikes. Just get yourself a scooter. Look at this guys. The limits are only in your head. Although I brought the bikini, but we don't really have much time to spend here at the hot springs. But I at least wanted to try this water from the volcano. It's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. The guy at the hot springs just told us that there will be a difficult part and that we should be careful. This is officially the entrance to the volcano. We get all the way to the top and it's sunny blue skies and sunshine incredible towards the volcano and <laughs> this is where the oh mud is uh oh uh oh zero attraction zero attraction like a tractor like a tractor oh my god this is very slippery Whew. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> oh my god, this is super slippery. No brakes, Elena, no brakes. Definition of fun is something like what we're doing right now, where you have no idea whether you will be able to do it, but you're doing it anyway. Like there is absolutely no reason for us to do this part by motorcycle. Like we're so close, we could just walk this part. But this is almost the only reason we came here in the first place. So. Got to complete this mission. group of people where are they going they're taking a different road interesting so there is a road an easy way that's how you do it no helmet <laughs> <Woo! laughs> Woo! 
over, Cherry. I promise I'll wash you when we come back. But now we look like real warriors. So this is the volcano. We made it. And that's us. <laughs> Slightly sweaty, a little bit tired, but we are happy, <laughs> like a kid. <laughs> Let's get dirty! <laughs> oh, I've got 15 minutes to enjoy my very well-deserved break. Mmm, so nice. And to fly the drones and explore the area. And we can take a look at the volcano. This is, by the way, one of the most dangerous volcanoes in Colombia. They say that if it explodes, then quite a few surrounding towns will be completely destroyed. One hour until sunset, and we still have quite a lot of off-road in front of us. And we're doing the local shortcut. It's 10 kilometers to Tocha, and then I think it should be easier, at least then it will be a road that I already know, but first we have to get to touch it. There is still quite a bit of mud, but of course much less than what we just did. And the important thing is <laughs> this is very narrow. <laughs> uh, I'm still sliding a little bit. Locals did it. Three people on a scooter without helmets. Come on, Adana. Like you should not be complaining about this stuff. There we go. Somewhere here. Back to the mud. Okay. Cherry, we're almost there. Let's do this. kilometers until Tocha. Oh, I can see Tocha already. Road works here. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's Tocha.
the dark. <laughs> Good work on his song. Almost there. From Cajamarca is the asphalt road. And this is it. Asphalt road. Civilization. Cars. <laughs> 